and uh, this is one of the funny things about this uh, you know uh, 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 Muslim countries like Indonesia night club are open people naked in the beach women walk naked with even breast showing uh, coming out uh, a night club in Jakarta I mean you know you name it and then a girl she is just making a stupid video and she used to use the word Bismillah she's a Muslim this is what you taught her when she is a kid you say Bismillah even when you touch your private part Bismillah before you have intercourse you have to say Bismillah before you put it in you have to say Bismillah when you take it off you have to say Bismillah when you finish pissing, you have to shake it and say Bismillah. So what she did, she said Bismillah before she ate pork. All the Muslims in Indonesia, suddenly they have honor now. No way, we cannot accept that. Billy dancing, night club, protected by the army, by the government, by the police, drinking, naked beach. This is not a problem. But the women, she said in a stupid video in TikTok, Bismillah. No, unbelievable. And those are stupid government like Biden, they, they just had a meeting with this stupid, with this filthy scumbag, the president of Indonesia. And they never mentioned a human right in this country. So now this poor woman, she is going to stay in jail for two years for what? Because she said, in the name of Allah, before she tested pork. That's it. She is not a Christian prince. She is not trying to insult. No, she is a Muslim. She said that. She always said that before, before she ate. And this is why you should not say the name of Allah anymore. See what the name of Allah can do to you? It's a curse. It's a curse. Same time she is lying. She said she ate the pork and it tastes bad. This is a big fat lie. And this is an additional reason to be punished. If it's me, I will give you 10 years in jail for lying about the taste of pork. It tastes so good. What this like? A liar liar to the bones do you know what the bones mean you are lying to your bones who in the world can say that if you eat pork it doesn't taste good so she lied in her video and then she say in the name of allah because she is a liar like every muhammadan praise be to the muhammad police be upon him this is muhammad police be upon him muhammad is not respected unless you bring the police what they are trying to do, they are trying to make you respect Muhammad by the police, but we don't. Actually, me, myself, I decide to announce September 21st is the International Pork Quran Day. What does that mean? Well, we are going to, uh, people will make videos or pictures, put pork over the Quran and send me pictures and I will be responsible to publish it. Nobody will know you. Kabij? Actually, we will make every day national, but September 21st now, from now on, is going to be International Quran Pork Day. Are you happy? Let everybody in the world laugh at you, and we will remember this woman. To show you how stupid this garbage cult is. You see, if this is even a religion, if this is even a religion, Shouldn't they ask himself actually, where do you get this, the punishment from? I mean, let, let us say, even go to your stupid religion. If a woman, she fornicate and she is single, you lash her, you know, uh, uh, some time in her, in her back and you let her go. You put her in two years, two years, not like by 20 days, not like 15 days, like not, not that penalty pay fine, don't do it again. No, no, no. Two years and 25,000 jail plus jail two years for what for she said bismillah before she eat pork so who want to support me in establishing this day jail for saying bismillah before eating pork what about now as we said guys who want to support me in my in my announcement september 21st is going to be International Quran Pork Day. So this poor woman, you see, she means nothing to me. But people should be granted the freedom of speech. 
and if she is not even saying it in purpose to insult she is just saying it because she used to say it she's a liar yes because she claimed that the pork doesn't taste good which is false especially the skin of the pork actually this is the best part of it so uh, uh, but we need to stand against this filthy intimidating garbage governments of Indonesia this is not the first time they do that a Christian person he debated a Muslim he just debated a Muslim because in the debate he tried to refute and he did refute the Muslim they put him in jail and then they did beat the hell of him and people forget about the person so anyone want to do make pork and Quran how you do it I don't care pictures videos post it post you can post in Google you can post there's tens of platform use a nickname if you are a person who live in Indonesia uh, or you know just give me the link and uh, I will deal with it I will post it so September 21st is going to be International Quran Pork Day who want to join anyone want to join you can leave your comment later after we finish and tell me if you like going you know to help us support us in this mission so we can show them that their their you know, I mean their action to stop people from being free I mean this poor woman she was staying in jail for two years for what what a filthy cult what a filthy garbage the world will understand what's going on and will see how ugly this cult is two years Muslims don't try us we can do a lot with your Quran pork is nothing trust me don't try us and you can do nothing about it pork in fact you idiot Pigs, in fact, you eat it, are the best animals to save your life. All of you Muslims, you take insulin. When they give you the insulin injection, you say, Bismillah. But this is from the pig. How many Muslim women, they put lipstick every day? I know, it's not lipstick. Lipstick. Every day. Do you know how much pork inside it? Even when you eat a chocolate. Do you know that when you make a surgery, the stitches, the thread of the stitches is made from pork? Do you know how many human beings saved? Their life saved by Mr. Pig? Literally. So those idiots, they should appreciate the pig. He is useful more than Muhammad. Muhammad never been useful. What is the benefit of Muhammad? What is the benefit of Allah? Can Allah provide you with insulin? No. Can Allah close your wound by stitches made from the pig? No. Who is providing you with lipstick? Allah? No. The pig. And this poor animal feeding millions of poor people. Beef is expensive. Not everybody can afford it. Lamb is more expensive. So their stupidity is beyond stupidity. When I say stupidity is amazing, don't take me wrong. I'm amazed how dumb a human being is. Otherwise, there's nothing amazing about it. But it's amazing to the point how far stupidity can go. In this stupid religion, even the Messiah, when he come, he will challenge the pig. Whoa. Yes, brother. The Messiah will come with two guns, one in the right hand side and one in the left side. And the cowboy will play the whistle. And then the Messiah will walk toward the pig. Where are you, pig? The pig. 
people come. He's brave. We say, I'm here. Who is calling me? Have you, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? So the Messiah will come to fight a pig? Are you serious? Yes, brother. Brother, who is going to win? I'm not sure, brother. <laughs> Oh boy, he's coming from the from the heaven all the way here to fight the pig. Really? If there is any risk in this story, I mean, like, is the Messiah will be fine? What if the pig he brought other pigs and you know, like, uh, <laughs> yes, brother. The Messiah will come and he will broke the cross, the cross, and he will kill the pig. There's only one pig in the world? Yes, brother. Only one. He's the, the big boss. What a stupid cult. Muhammad, what's wrong with you? Why you are so smart? I'm serious. Why you, Muhammad, are so smart? Where is this intelligence coming from? If there is any source you can tell us, or like, is it happen like naturally, or what? You know, how you can do that? Is that the camel urine symptoms? You know when uh, Muhammad he said that when the messiah come he will stop the jizya and this is by the way is additional proof that muhammad is a fraud because nobody pays jizya no more since long time ago <laughs> in fact the one who pays jizya now is the muslims the fake prophet muhammad police be upon him said that when the Messiah, and by the way, he said soon, 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 soon the Messiah, Yushikna. He's swearing by Allah very, very soon. Like now, Yushikna in Arabic means extremely soon, like in the blink of an eye. That the Messiah will come and the following things will happen. And you will notice here, he said, one of the things will happen, he will stop collecting jizya, which means nobody will pay jizya no more. But nobody pages there anywhere in the world. Long time ago. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. And the pig is not. The pig is real. Muhammad is not. The pig is useful. Muhammad is not. The pig is true. Allah is not true. The pig, the pig he feed millions. Allah feed nobody. In fact, Allah brings misery to people. He is the devil. So, you Muslims should make a statue for the pig. Respect him, worship him, pray for him. He is better than your God. And instead of kissing a black stone, which harm no one, neither benefit anyone, as Umar al-Khattab said, but your prophet said that the black stone is going to come in the day of judgment. And witness for you is going to have eyes and tongues, which mean Umar, he exposed Muhammad lies. Which one is better? A pig or Islam and Muhammad and Allah? I will leave that decision for you. You can leave your comment. And don't forget to tell me if you are going to support what I'm asking you to do. International Pork Quran Day, September 21st. And now because it passed already, so let us do this week some and every you know here and there we remember this day let us make it a memory day let us make it international day post in twitter hashtag the name of this woman lena whatever her name for name support lena etc international quran pork day and let us maybe we can make a movement 
and millions of people join us to expose this garbage cult so the Mohammedan will learn that there is a consequence when you go after those poor people those people should not be left alone this woman should not be left alone they live in a country the majority of it is Mohammedan in the religion of hate country Imagine from a person having fun, you know, uh, you don't care, you know, uh, and suddenly what you do in jail for what? Is she smuggling drugs? Did she open with a knife as stitch, it's a stitches in the face? If you open a chest, like in, in those countries, if you cut somebody, you don't even stay in jail for two years. If you pay ten thousand dollars, they will let you go right away. Five thousand dollars. Corrupt judges, corrupt police, corrupt president. The whole country is messed up. But she said, brother, Bismillah, before she ate pork. She's a very ugly criminal. Very bad woman. In the religion of decency. In the country, it's full of nightclub and naked people in the beach. She broke Islamic Sharia Allah. Do you have one? So you close eyes when you see nakedness. And now you become a Muslim. You close your eyes at night a club is full of people dancing and naked. And now you became religious. You close your eyes when a sheikh was having sex with tons of women. And everybody heard about the story and you did nothing to him. You close your eyes and you know nothing about it. Potato. We are going to get you busted. Until we see you soon again, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. The Lord, he says, is not what go inside the mouth, but what come from it. That is the wise Lord. When God, he forbid pork, it was for a reason. An animal grow in the, grow in the field, eat anything. It's not because for the benefit of God. God don't care if you eat pork. Or even anything you eat it doesn't affect God it was for your benefit everything done is for your benefit the Mohammedan they claim that they follow the law of Moses the fact they don't because if you do you know and your prop we can show you from the hadith that even the camel is forbidden for the Jews why you eat it then the milk of the camel forbidden for the Jews why you drink it then in the top of that, you drink even the piss of the camel. So do something, otherwise you will be next. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And remember, remember, it's what comes from your mouth will make you dirty, not what goes to your mouth. Human being, if you think about it, human being, even when you do ablution, you clean yourself, you will never be clean. Do you clean inside you? Do you clean your stomach? Do you clean what is in, you know? You know you don't. So even when somebody claim he is a clean, or let us say he clean himself, that is just a clean the outside. And when it's come to God, a homeless who did not take a shower for a year, if he have a good heart, is better than you and me if we don't. God will not judge him because of his smell bad. God will judge him by how many people he harmed, how many evil he did, how many loving, how 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 much he loved people, how much he hate people. His smell is his business. And as long as you are talking about the smell, how come you don't judge your prophet who was full of lies? Is that because he take a shower every day? In fact, your prophet, when he take a shower, he take it with dead dogs literally dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage did your prophet say in bismillah before he jump in the water have dead dogs and women of blood from period so don't claim to be clean and don't claim that you respect God. You don't even have God. 
For if you have God, you will let this woman go. If you have God, you will be merciful. But you don't have God. Anyone, let us say this woman, she insulted the Messiah. And somebody says to me, let us give her two years in jail. I will not approve. The Messiah on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. To who? To the one who just crucified him, the one who put nails in his hand, to the one who insulted him, the one literally are killing him right in the moment. Forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. That is God. You don't have one. And you will never have one. What you have is a terrorist. What you have is a filth. And if you think you can intimidate us over our dead body, and even when we die, our bones will speak against your God, the devil. The Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them. And more of my books is coming as respond to your stupidity and violence and intimidation. If you think you can intimidate us, you are mistaken. More to come. Thank you all for being here. God is good. So is Jesus. And Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. And pig is more useful. I approve this message. Do you? Leave your comment. And don't forget to make a video or, a, or pictures or anything. And post everywhere. Tell your friends. Lena. Free Lena from Indonesia. Pork International Quran Day. Pork Quran International Day. Name it as you wish. See ya.